she learned. And now to say the forward is Bea Formales. You know how at home the littlest things can get to you? Parang pag kunwari naghuhugas ka ng pinggan, tapos biglang dadagdagan yung plato mo. Di ba? Parang, bakit? O kaya, pagdating mo sa CR, may nakakalimot mag-flush. Tapos, hindi pa na-refill yung tissue. O kaya, minsan naman, pauwi ka, ba- pa- pa- ka sa bahay, ini-imagine mo na yung kakainin mo, tapos pagdating mo, ubus na pala. Hindi ka nila tiniran. These are funny examples, but di ba, when it comes to our family, madali tayong mapikon. Because we're always with them, we know them more than anyone else, we know their good and bad sides. And if we're quite honest, madalas pagtungkol sa pamilya, mas una nating nakikita yung mali nila at hindi yung mali natin. You see, I had this phase in my life when I was getting exposed to different uh, Christian circles. Siguro two years ago, when I started seeing how their family was. Di ba, yung, yung mga anak na kapag, ano, na kapag share sa magulang nila, ng lahat ng na-feel nila, naisip nila, sobrang free lang. They're growing together, they're serving in ministry together, they're praying together. And, lagi ko naisip nun, bakit hindi kami ganun? Don't get me wrong, my family is great. We had dinners together, we go to church together, we didn't have fights, siguro very small lang, but I've always felt like there was something missing. Like, your relationship namin, hindi pa ganun ka deep. And so, I started praying for my family. I asked, my parents to start a Bible study at home. So, isip-isip ko, tong solution na to, it will open their eyes to how else we can improve as a family. And we will address the problems or the rooms for improvement. Pero, may isang araw, Uh, for our family Devo, Daddy said, we'll share with them things that we think they can improve on as our parents. And they, in turn, will share to us how we can improve as children. So I thought, wow, this is a great opportunity. So share ko sa kanila lahat ng iniisip ko, lahat ng thoughts ko before. But, Little did I realize that I would be opened up to the many things that I need to improve on myself as well. Nakakatawa nga nun eh. Hindi ko alam kung naalala ni mommy. Narealize ko mas marami pa nga room for improvement sa akin kesa sa mga kapatid ko. At ang yabang-yabang ko pa para i-point out na yung pagkakamali nila. Uh, honestly, ako, pag nasa-stress ako minsan, masungit na ako. O kaya, pag nag obey ako, minsan hindi na ako joyful. And a lot of other things. Minsan masakit ako magsalita. And they told me about it. And it crushed my pride. God turned my question from what's wrong with my family to what's wrong with me. And it reminded me of this verse in Matthew 
Sabi niya, Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye when you have a plank on your own eye? Di ba, meron kang ano, isang malaking plank sa mata mo, pero mas pinubunan mo yung pagkakamali ng iba. And that was my case in our family. As I humbled myself and asked God to change me, as I dealt with my own problems with God, God was slowly bringing our family individually closer to Him as well. And then, He brought our family even closer together. He built our relationships. And now, we enjoy our time together. Now, like I've wanted before, I can freely share with them my thoughts and feelings. Now, we're serving in ministry together. We're praying together. We're intentionally helping each other grow. Because God changed my perspective. Before, my motive for wanting to change my family was pride. But now, realizing that I myself am part of God's family only because of His love and forgiveness and grace, narealize ko na kayang gamitin ni God yung kwento ng pamilya namin para ipakita yung pagmamahal niya, our Heavenly Father, towards imperfect people like us through our family. Music